Hey there guys, quick and easy tutorial today on how to use After Effects Roto Brush tool. I have some footage pulled up here from a music video I shot a while back. It's in 6K UHD and you're going to want some high resolution footage to do this. However, it doesn't have to be, it just helps the result. So basically what we're going to be doing here is cutting out the subject from the image and removing the background. You're going to want to use a clip in which the subject is pretty visually different than the background. As you can see here, this clip is ungraded, but even so, there's a good amount of contrast from the subject to the background just based on his outfit. So that's going to help us out a lot. So step one is make sure you're playing back and forth res. Step two, all you have to do is double click your clip. Once you've double clicked your clip, it will pull up right here in this new tab. Then you're going to go up here to the Roto Brush tool and just give that a click. As you can see in our effects controls tab, nothing has populated here because we haven't applied the effect yet. In order to apply the effect, all you're going to do is just give one click on your subject and it's going to try and start looking for that information right away. And it's going to add some sort of line here that's going to indicate that that's what you're selecting. Go up in here to the Roto Brush and Refine Edge settings and you're going to want to make sure that 2.0 is selected and you're going to want to make sure that best is selected. It's going to be a little more taxing on your CPU. However, it's going to be worth it in terms of the quality of the selection. So with that, you're about ready to go. One thing I also like to do is turn the feather up to about 13. Depending on what you're doing, you might want to adjust that, but that's usually what I do. So those are the only settings that I change. Once you've done that, you want to make sure that the playhead is on the first frame of your selection and you're ready to go. So I'm just going to drag this tool all throughout his body, just only hitting what I want it to select. And great. As you can see, it's made a pretty good selection. However, there are a couple things that we're going to need to fix here. So how this works is if I were to play the clip right now, it would continue to select the next frame and the next one based on the information here. So it's really important that your first frame you do a selection on has an accurate selection. As you can see, the space between his legs is being selected. You can't see the bottom of the selection here, but it's probably around here. Everything else looks about good. There's also this piece of his glasses. So what I'm gonna do is hold option, I'm on a Mac, and drag right here, and this will deselect the space in between his legs. As you can see, that's done a pretty good job, although I'm gonna have to zoom in here. Then to change the size of my brush, I'm gonna hold command and drag, click and drag to the left. I'll press option again, which will allow me to bring the deselect tool back up. And I'm just gonna keep getting in there as much as possible, make the brush even smaller and deselect up into his legs. I'm zooming in and looking for spots in which the selection isn't great. It's never gonna be perfect, so you know, you can only do so good. I'm going to now drag my selection brush around so we grab his glasses there too. And now we have his glasses selected. So that's a pretty good selection, I'm liking that. At this point, all you have to do is just play the clip and After Effects will do its best to select everything based on the selection you've just made. So this might take a little while, but I'm going to run this and we'll see how it does. Okay, so I just came back from waiting for this to render and it's looking great. Honestly, it did a great job. Now, if it does mess it up for you, you're gonna wanna just go in there, find the first frame that seems to start messing up and edit that selection. And what it will do is it will use that new reference point as a means to choose its selection from that point forward. Now, again, you're never gonna get a fully perfect selection with this tool, but even here, as you can see, in between his hat, you know, we still can see the sky there. And on his shoes, there's definitely some imperfect selections going on. But for what this tool is, I really think that it did a great job. So now I'm gonna click out of this tab 
And if you go back to our original shot, you will see that if you have this toggle transparency grid selected, the background will be removed. And with this off, it'll probably just show us black. At this point, you're pretty much done, depending on what you're trying to do. Um, if you'd like to continue editing this clip in After Effects, you can move it around just like you would any other clip with transparency, or you can export this clip and bring it into Premiere or somewhere else. I'll show you how to do that now. Go ahead and go into File, Export, and add to Render Queue. Once you're in there, you'll go Lossless, click on RGB, click RGB and Alpha, press OK. At this point, you can change the name and the location of your clip. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching this video, and if it's helped you at all, please leave a like and subscribe. I appreciate it, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.